Our investigation is involving to see how we can use high performance computing to more efficiently search through large amounts of molecular measurement data to see if we can extract information that can be linked to molecular mechanisms involved with cancer growth and growth response to drugs being introduced to the cancer that would inhibit the growth. The, the goal here is to look for molecular markers that can be easily taken from an individual patient. That's the long-term goal. So now the kind of the development of the technology is such that the ability to take uh, molecular measurements from the patient at the time that they're seeing the doctor is much more accessible now. So you can, for example, sample their genome, sample their genotype and understand where the genetic variants are in their tumor or in the, you know, taking a, a biopsy from the patient's uh, tumor and use that to hopefully, the, hype, the goal or the hope is that you can look at those molecular markers and use that to guide or predict how that tumor would respond to a particular drug that's being applied to the tumor to inhibit growth. And the theory is that there's pathways that are involved with the growth of the tumor that can be inhibited potentially by the drug to intercept or block a particular pathway that would in some way inhibit the growth of that tumor. So the algorithms that we're looking at here are sort of generically what we call sort of machine learning algorithms or data mining algorithms where we want to collect lots of samples of tumors uh, and their molecular measurements including their genomic information, um, what genes are being expressed and then correlate that with how those tumors respond to drug treatments and then look for patterns that can identify subsets of features that are correlated with positive outcomes. Ultimately, once you get these sort of molecular measurement features that are correlated with positive outcomes, for example, a particular set of genes that are upregulated and more highly expressed or a set of genetic variants uh, that indicate a variant in the protein structure, then the next step is to really kind of understand what the molecular mechanisms are that actually are creating the effect that we're observing. So the ultimate dream is to go beyond just finding the correlations, but actually look to see what are the mechanistic causes of that particular uh, interaction between the drug and, and the cell that causes inhibition of the tumor growth.